Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. The Firebase Z gameplay trailer is now out. That is the gameplay trailer for DLC 1 for Cold War Zombies coming on February 4th. And so in this video, we're going to be reacting to it for the first time, breaking it down, all of that good stuff. And before we get into it, I've got something to show you guys that you might have missed last night that came out pretty late in the evening on Treyarch's social feeds. So we'll check that out first, and then in a minute or two, we'll jump into the trailer itself. So buckle up, okay? First of all, we saw these images released last night, and they seem to show us various elements of things that we can expect in the map. We've obviously seen the teleporter before, and that's all well and good. This one says teleport approved materials only as its kind of caption, and you've got some sort of dentures, I suppose, in that little pile of guts there. But we've also got this, a sort of Lunar Lander type machine that seems to be operating like the jump pads from Der Eisendracher. That's something that I was not expecting to see in this map, like an actual Lunar Lander, but converted into a jump pad. That's pretty crazy. And we also saw this, which appears to potentially be some kind of new equipment, like a gas sucky boss thing. Very strange. It's it's always cool to see Treyarch doing all of these kind of social campaigns around their trailers on the internet, on their social feeds, etc. Love that. So Treyarch props for giving us some extra supplementary material. I want to quickly ask you guys one question though about the internet, right? Would you like it if someone leaked your private info online? <laughs> didn't think so. In the last year, with everyone spending so much more time online, it's become more important than ever to keep track of your own digital security and the privacy of the data you generate. Unfortunately, most people ignore this. For example, up to 80% of you guys have probably made up your own simple passwords instead of using secure password generators. And those simple passwords, like password, then end up getting reused across multiple different sites. All it takes is one data breach and boom, your entire online life is compromised. And so, to help emphasize the importance of keeping your digital personality safe, Kaspersky and Krakatau have teamed up to create their Safe Expression clothing collection. It's intended to let you express yourself with the theme of digital security and privacy in mind. And you can customize the designs using the chatbot on their site to match your own digital footprint. As you can see, I've done one for myself. I'm wearing it right now and it's personalized to me. If you want to do the same and shop the Safe Expression collection, click the link in the description and remember to use the chatbot to personalize if you want. Thank you, Kaspersky and Krakatau for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's do this. Trailer time. Three, two, one. Smash the like button. Let's go. Weaver, I'm still in the field. Okay. I have to meet a contact. Wow. I am not proud of everything I have done. Not rectified. But I am proud of what I am doing. Okay, that's Sam. Mega must be stopped. No matter the personal cost to people like you and I. No, my friend. They are the ones who are going to pay. Okay. <laughs> Jeez! All right, Samantha. Opened their new worlds. Ravanov, my team's reached the village. Requiem, welcome to Vietnam. Yep. Okay. What have we got going on here? We have to get out of here now. The move. Wait, the Yo! Oh, he's tall. What is that? Okay, yep. I'd pick up the pace if I were you, for Max's sake. Oh man. Yeah. Oh wait, that is the wonder weapon. Are you yeah. serious? And there's the jump pad. Tombstone! <laughs> no way! Oh my god! She lied to me. If you betrayed her, if any harm comes to her, I will kill you myself. Stop! What was the path? Run it up, 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 right now, right now. This in. I'm actually lightheaded, dude. The Elder Gods are not only in the map, but I guess it's the boss, maybe? And it's blasting ether juice out of its snozzle. Like, what is... Dude, I am not crazy. proud of everything I have done. I'm not proud of everything I've done. So that's Ravenoff, right? And he's chilling in there. He's going to be interactable with throughout this map. And he is going to be our key to basically rescuing Samantha. He says later in the trailer, time is running out. My God, I can't wait to get back to the ending and watch that again in like slow motion and stuff. Samantha crawling on the roof. Of what I am doing. 
Omega must be stopped. No matter the personal cost to people like you and I. No, my friend. They are the ones who are going to pay. They have already opened their new worlds. Ravanov, my team has reached the village. Okay, so... We see all the stuff with Samantha, and that is in the past, right? We've already sort of known that that would be the case. We'd be probably seeing some kind of intro where Samantha got to the site and then got captured in some capacity. We don't know exactly how just yet, and we would then have to go in and try and extract her and save her. But I, I, I think that... Well, okay, let's actually keep it playing for now. Requiem. Welcome to Vietnam. We, we start to see some really interesting stuff at this point in the trailer. This map... Looks like it has some massive open areas. Like that area on the right hand side in this shot looks absolutely huge. It looks huge. There's so much room for hoarding there, which is crazy. They're fighting in this area right next to that portal. And then they say we have to get out of here. And just like I said in my video like two weeks ago, maybe more now, I had a feeling that we might be seeing a situation where there were teleporters or some kind of transport system between the military base itself and the village. Because we already knew in the intel that those two places were likely, well, they were separated. They weren't like directly next to each other. And so I was saying like we might be seeing a fragmented map and it seems like that's what we see here. They jump in, they jump into the teleporter and then they go to this sort of military compound. On the move. On the move. And the, that thing, like, Magua slash something else, looks terrifying. And it looks tall. Like, it does not look like it's going to put up a... Well, it's going to put up a lot of fight, I should say. I was going to say it's not going to put up much of a fight, but it, it looks like it is. It's just running through with all of them shooting it. And then you've got these blue generators and... Is that a zombie attacking it or is it... No, it looks like a player is interacting with it there. And there's obviously the main kind of ether crystal uh, fuel source or it, maybe it's being, being harvested in that shot or something. And in that shot afterwards, are we seeing some kind of blue energy, like a soul box potentially flying out of the zombies and, 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 and heading into that, that Ethereum crystal generator? And yes, actually, then it seems to emit this big bubble. So maybe that's exactly what we're seeing. And I mean, if this is going to act anything like the way it works in Onslaught, maybe that will end up meaning that there's like a safe area within the bubble and outside the bu outside the bubble, you can't go there or something. Like they've got that mechanic in the game. It goes purple in this shot here, the generator. For Maxis's sake. And they've got all sorts of interesting stuff on the walls, it looks like. I love the fact that the outdoors as well looks like a, almost... Well, I was going to say almost Grod Crovey, but we also had crash planes on, like, I mean, literally the last map, D Machine. So maybe that's maybe that's a step too far, but it's just giving me those kinds of, I don't know, just just vibes of that, that outdoor area. It looks really good to me, though. And the sky... Wait, yeah, look! Literally, like I said, it looks like that containment sphere potentially has enlarged and gone to the sort of outside bounds of the map. And that's why we can't leave the map potentially is because they're using that as the map uh, kind of boundary, I suppose. It looks like that might be the case there. We've got like an Ethereum bubble that we're inside. And that makes me think, are we in the dark ether in that shot? Like, it obviously doesn't look very dark ether-like. It doesn't look dark. But is that possible? And then, of course, we see the Wonder Weapon, which we saw previously, but everyone thought was just going to be an MP variant. But I'm guessing it's not. Or I guess it might not be the Wonder Weapon, in fairness. It could still be an MP variant of something. No, I mean, it's got like a purple... It's firing a purple blob. It's it's a, it's a Wonder Weapon. <laughs> like, there's no doubt about it in my mind after, after remembering that it was actually firing like energy bullets like that. And they explode and that looks phenomenal. And they're like souls fly out of their bodies. It looks like that looks amazing. And then there's the jump pad, of course. And those, oh, you go into the satellite dish. That's sick. That looks really cool. Tombstone, of course, as well. And manglers. Bro. Did anyone see that? I didn't, I, I didn't see that coming in a million years. I fully did not expect manglers to be in this map. No chance. I would never have bet on that. Never. And here they are. That's bananas. And then the elder god, bro. 
I've been I've been literally screaming about this guy since like like a day after the map came out when Moving and Chaz sent me that clip of the massive monster that they had spotted in the forest and I was blown away by it and started making story video after story video about it to see it now that big in the playable space blasting its own face off with a beam of I don't know what dude some ethera ethereum stuff that makes me excited very very excited because that could be a boss fight and that could totally be a boss fight. That could be the boss fight that we've been waiting for since D-Machine. And we know in D-Machine there were leaked audio files saying, like, the characters were, like, taking down the big guy or something. That could be in this map. We could finally be getting our fight with the Elder God, which would be amazing. Just, ah, uh, please, Treyarch. Do it. Just do it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to wrap this video up here. Uh, make sure to click that link in the description, like I mentioned earlier as well, by the way, if you want to go and check out that clothing collection. Um, but, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Oh my God, I'm so excited to do more videos about this. Hell yeah.